We've got Pro Football Weekly's best bets for Week 16. For that, we have our handicapping expert, Mike Wilkening. Wilkie, first up, we've got Washington minus 6.5 at home against the Vikings, and we're going with the Redskins. The Vikings just aren't in good form right now, and they struggle to defend the pass. They're 30th uh, you know, against the pass this season. Uh, and the Redskins have covered four or five games. You've got one team that's playing well, not in playoff contention, but playing well, and you've got a Vikings team that really has not been playing well the last six weeks or so. Their last win was the end of October. We're siding with the Redskins in this game. It seemed unfathomable a couple of weeks ago, but the Redskins have been playing better the last few weeks. St. Louis at Pittsburgh, the Steelers minus 14. It's a huge number, but still, we're laying the two touchdowns with the Steelers. Yeah, there's some quarterback uncertainty in this game with Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, with Ben Roethlisberger dealing with a high ankle sprain. Even if Charlie Batch were to play in this game or if Roethlisberger were to be limited, there's a reason to like the Steelers. Uh, you know, Batch was a relatively good fill-in last year uh, in the win versus Tampa Bay. This is a caliber of opponent we think he could handle. The Rams' inability to score, I think, is going to be the problem here. They only have 13 offensive touchdowns in 14 games. So, look, I, I, I think when it comes down to it, you look at Pittsburgh, they need the game. They're the choice in this one. Steelers, the defense alone might cover that 14 points just by scoring two touchdowns. San Diego at Detroit, we like over 52. Yeah, it, very interesting. I mean, the Chargers are making that kind of patented late uh, December run. Yeah, but you look on the other side, and the Lions' pass defense has really struggled the last five weeks. And, uh, you know, when you, when you kind of look at it, this is a matchup that seems to, again, favor San Diego in terms of being able to move the ball. That said, obviously, the Lions, with Calvin Johnson, Matthew Stafford, they can air it out, too. This has the looks of a shootout. It's a game that's indoors. Both teams need it. Uh, and both defenses might have a little bit of trouble. So the over holds a lot of appeal in this game. This should be a fun game to watch. It does have all the makings of a shootout. We think it can definitely go over that 52. We appreciate you joining us, Mike, for the best handicap information, including all of the editor's picks. You can check it out at the Handicapping Inner Circle at ProFootballWeekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.